name is Sylvan, and um, I'm happy that you're still here because it's freezing, at least I'm freezing, so it's not just the Australians. Um, so we founded ParkTech in Berlin last year in 2014. And we founded the company to make sure that we save drivers time, money, and ultimately stress. I'm just going to put this up. So what we what we found was that there's a sincere parking problem. But first, let me give you a statistic. There are 3.5 billion toothbrushes in the world, but there's 4 billion mobile phones in the world. So that either tells you something about people's priorities, or it tells you something about how you can solve parking. So this is why we set out to use smartphones to solve parking. We basically turn smartphones into parking sensors. So based on the movements and the sensor information on the phone, we can tell the driving behavior of someone. So we can predict when somebody is about to vacate. We basically know that a parking spot is going to be free before it's free. So in German it says, vorher wissen wo was frei wird. So you can direct drivers towards a parking spot before it's free. That makes sure that the existing street parking, the curbside parking spots, can be used more efficiently than they can today. Because if people drive around in circles in search for a parking spot, which obviously is very inefficient. So how does it work? I guess a lot of you are asking yourselves now. We use the smartphone inf information, the sensors on there, gyroscope, accelerometer, cell tower information, air pressure, all those type of information and also with machine learning algorithms as my, um, as my colleague over here, we can then determine what somebody is doing. All the calculations happen on the device and then we can tell that somebody is going to vacate over there in two minutes. If everybody would use this system, we could save up to 1% of the total fossil fuel emission of the world. Unfortunately, obviously, not everybody uses our system yet, but quite a few. So this service is already available in Berlin, in Hamburg, in Munich, in some cities in the USA, in Canada, Italy, in Austria, and in the Netherlands. And obviously, we're expanding further. So currently, you can see up to, or normally, you can see 120,000 parking spot predictions in our system per day. So sometimes we go up to 300,000 if people drive a lot. So in the future also, self-parking cars, cars that bring you to where you need to go, you step out and then the car goes further and parks itself. Those cars will use our data to know where to drive to. I would say, and this is not exactly predictive analytics, but I would predict in five years time, you're not willing to buy a premium car unless it can park itself. So we are literally the last mile of self-parking cars. So we're a community-based service. It all depends on how many people use us. Um, so far, nobody in Hanover is really using us, so maybe we're going to change this through this event. Um, we thought that we need to give something back to the community. So we decided to launch a competition. Time is money, but parking is gold. So. What's going to happen next, next Monday, we're going to open a competition for people to pre-register. In April, the hunt for a gold watch from Apple is going to start. So an 18 karat gold watch, Apple Watch Edition, is going to go to a new owner. So either if you're in need of a bunch of gold or need a cool watch, definitely you should pre-register for that. So I was sort of fast with a full minute because I would assume that there's more questions around algorithm, those kind of things, so I'm happy to take questions.